G'day mate, Forty here. There's a terrific book called The Tyranny of Distance. So from the very beginning it took approximately three times as long to get from England or Europe to Australia as opposed to from England or Europe to the United States. So in the 17th, 18th century I think it took about 30 days of sailing to get to the United States from England but to get to Australia it took three times as long. And so Australia has always felt itself particularly isolated from the rest of the civilized world. And because it's such an enormous country with such a relatively small population, it's needed a big government to make the whole thing work. So you have flying doctors or get in a plane and help someone with some dire medical emergency in outback Australia. Transportation of goods is more expensive. So even though it's 2022, I still experience the tyranny of distance. I, I paid $185 extra for a direct flight from LAX to Sydney. And I was still in the air for 15 hours, right? And the plane was absolutely jammed full. And every seat was taken. Right? That is not an easy flight. 15 hours in economy. Like I tried to take it easy on the water so I wouldn't have to get up and use the loo. Now good on Delta, they, they kept the, the laboratories clean and immaculate, good service from the crew, but we were jammed in and I couldn't shift my, my seat back. But the people in front of me, yeah, they could, they could tilt back onto me. So 15 hours like that, squish squash. I got to experience the tyranny of distance. So some of the offerings for the flight home, like some of them, like no extra charge, like 40 hours. There'd be like a 23 hour stopover in some godforsaken Asian city. So I was willing to spend $185 extra for direct flight. So a direct flight back from Sydney to Los Angeles is three hours shorter. It's about 12 hours because you're going with the wind. You're coming to Australia from California going against the wind. But uh, I do kind of feel, you know, on the edge of the world here. So we had a former Prime Minister of Australia, Paul Keating of the Labour Party, as Prime Minister approximately 1990 to 95, referring in particular to the shape of the southern part of Australia it says that uh, Australia is the a-hole of the world. Right? Looks like the bottom of Australia looks like a pair of buttocks. So there's self-hatred in Australia. You do you do kind of feel isolated here. So about half the Americans who move to Australia with the intention of living here end up going back to America because the sense of isolation and it gets to people. The wide open spaces. Now, relatively small population to wide open spaces means that things like COVID and the Spanish flu don't spread nearly as easily in Australia. Right? We have lots of room here and the water pressure is just to die for. I, I tell you mate, the water pressure is probably 10 times more intense here in Sydney compared to Los Angeles. A lot of abundant natural resources. Isn't that our, our new national anthem starting in I think 1983? We shifted from God Save the Queen, which we had until 1983 as part of the British Empire, then we developed our own national anthem in 1983 it's advanced australia fair something like with wealth for toil as part of the national anthem right. abundant opportunities to make lots of money here